everyone, my name is Maryam Amir and I am presenting my business course proposal regarding my business, Vintage Classics. It's an antique store which also sells clothing apparel and furniture and other antique collectibilities. This is my business letter. This is my business letter to Mr. Rose He owns a he owns a vintage cafe in Russia. And the reason I have chose Russia is because Russia has a very rich history in antiques and vintage, uh, vintage you know like gems and other vintage collectibilities. And I wish to send him some of my resources and set it up sorry set it up in his cafe to let the customers taste the past in his cafe and over here i have also requested for a partnership for us to combine our resources and our skills so i have also requested him a few samples of his product to display in my vintage store because i also offer beverage services and coffee services in the vintage store. Our key revenue and costs. The primary revenue income for vintage classics is by selling its vintage products and antiques. Our main cash cow is our vintage clothing apparel and our on the side we also have income streams from exhibitions and seminars yes our funding requirements or our use of funds right now we are seeking 60000 kd to open our antique store in kuwait city the funding will be dedicated to the construction of the antique store new furniture supplies and expenses for the first uh, graphic designer to design the logos flyers and website and also we have to pay the working capital to we also have to pay the working capital to our staff for the first few months of our operation vintage classics is a unique and it is a unique and exciting concept that will bring a new refreshing taste to Kuwait City and I believe that this business will be a success. Over here, this table is the estimated projection for our uh, finance projection, financial projection for our upcoming five years after partnering with Da Vinci Vintage Cafe. Over here is our financial projections also our, for our income for the next five years. And after also after partnering with Da Vinci Cafe. And next is well, who is Vintage Classics? Vintage Classics is a newly operated business that has been selling antiques and furniture. We also sell clothing apparel. We are passionate about finding and receiving vintage pieces that have unique beauty and character. Beauty and character. Our, our store is filled with a wide variety of not only collectibilities but also clothings and other vintage, other vintage taste furniture and and we also have replicas of the Russian the Russian gem which has been stolen in the past. We have created a replica and we will provide the history lesson to the customers that come in. And next is the history of vintage classics. I grew up in a family that loved antiques. My parents had a large collection of furniture and I would often spend hours looking at the pieces and imagining the stories that they could tell. I developed a deep appreciation for the beauty and craftsmanship of the antique items. And I knew that I wanted to work with antiques one someday. After graduating from college, I decided to start my own business selling antiques. I decided to start up I decided to start up with a small shop in my hometown and I quickly began to build a reputation with my customers and later on I now have a very big shop 
here in Kuwait City and I have my business has grown very steadily. I have also expanded to a larger location and I now have a team of employees who are helping me source and sell the antiques. I also have started an online store which allows me to reach customers all over the world. And next is, these are the following milestones that I have reached throughout the years. I have expanded to a new location and I have launched new products and services. I have also partnered with another business which is Da Vinci Vintage Cafe. I have also contributed to the community by donating charity and sponsoring events. Next is the industry analysis. Our market overview, our market overview, the vintage market ha is poised for growth in a disposable income increases with the demand for unique and stylish vintage pieces continues to rise. Disposable income. As people have money to spend, they always are looking for new and stylish items for their house or for their business all the time. And vintage items are nowadays really in demand, so people are drawn towards the vintage and the timeless retro pieces to give a taste to their houses. And next is our relevant market size. So there, according to this time, there are 60% of people who are actually buying our vintage products and there are 40% who are coming to our coming to our store to tour. So this has become a very good opportunity for our vintage classics to do business. We can open, we can charge them for tour in our vintage in our vintage uh, store and we could give them the history of the of the items or we could give them a little education about the items while the tour we could charge them for that and chapter 4 is our customer analysis our target customers number 1 is people who are interested in uh, sustainable living Vintage items are often made with recycled materials and are more durable. They last very long. So they could be in your house for years or perhaps decades, even centuries. And next one is people who are looking for unique and stylish pieces. And other people who are interested in history. Each piece of antique has a big history to talk about and it has stories to tell which intrigue actually many people. Next is our customer needs. So vintage classic provides, sorry, a vintage classic provides a wide variety of vintage items, which is also a customer need. They'll get bored with the same product. And vintage classic also sells very high quality items, premium quality items, and we also we also have competitive price for our vintage products and antiques. And the vintage classics also provides excellent customer also provides excellent customer service. How can I Hold up. You have mouse is not working, sorry. My mouse is not working. My mouse is not working. Excuse me, everyone. Just a moment. It's not breaking. is a popular vintage store in the area. They have free internet services along with some branded vintage items. And they also ship their products worldwide which, make the, which makes them one of our competitors. Our indirect competitor is We Vintage and they're also a store in the area. They have also, they have uh, free internet access but they mainly sell clothing apparel. 
but they also have vintage clothing apparel, which is also good enough to qualify them as one of our competitors. Next is our competitive advantage. So, unique collections. One, oh, sorry, sorry, what is that? One store, our store is hanging. Sorry, it's hanging, just a moment. Can I throw it? Okay, unique collections. Our store will offer. Sorry, what is that? Okay, it's hanging again. Hold up, hold up. I think my mouse was lagging. You can use the arrow. The arrow. I can use the arrow. Just a moment. Okay, unique collections. Our store will offer a carefully, a carefully curd uh, selection of vintage clothing and vintage apparel. And also we have exceptional customer service and we also have beverages and coffee services. As in we have a little corner in our store which we offer beverages and coffee. And we have also requested Mr. Rostoswensky to send us some of his samples from his from his vintage cafe so we can also display it there and we also offer educational opportunities and online presence and e-commerce and lastly community engagement and next is our marketing plan and our products and services so we offer um we offer sorry what is this Ending again we offer extensive uh, antique collections we offer expert guidance we can help you choose the products that you need we can recommend to you we can offer guidance to you and we can also restore and repair if there is some antique antique uh, or if there is some antique you have or some item you have maybe it has some fault in it we can help you restore and repair your product and we can also customize and personalize products for you and we have e events and exhibitions along with educational workshops and seminars next is our promotional plan so for our promotional plan we have decided to be more onto the social media we are going to we are going to make sure we have a website and we're going to advertise on maybe Facebook, Instagram, be very active on social media to attract more audience. And we have also decided to do some here which has been showing email marketing as in sending regular emails of promotions and deals to our customers. And the next one over here we have is the local advertising, advertising by local newspapers, flyers, and other, other ways of advertising. And the next one here we have collaborations and partnerships like we have done with Mr. Rosa Swensky for his Vintage Cafe. We have collaborated with him and we soon are looking forward to a very, a very good start. And the next one here we have is community engagement by active, actively participating in communities, hosting seminars and such. And lastly, we have our SWOT analysis. For our strengths, we have Sorry. For our strengths, we have extensive and current collections, we have knowledgeable staff, we have unique shopping experience, community engagement, online shopping services. And these are one of our biggest strengths. For our weaknesses, we have inventory challenges and limited marketing budget, weak operational efficiencies, and limited brand awareness. We do plan to fix our weaknesses. We're still working on it. And we soon look forward to making these one of our strengths. For our threats, we have changing consumer preferences, as in people can change their mind all of the time by looking at some other magazine. The trends can change. So we have to be very cautious taking to the trends. And next, we have economic conditions and competitions from other 
uh, online antique retailers. And for our opportunities, we have events and exhibitions, collaborations with interior designers and decorators. We could offer our products, our furniture to interior designers and to decorators. And we have also opportunities to collaborate with influencers who can, who can advertise our clothing and apparel. And that is it. Thank you all for listening to my business proposal. If you have any questions, I'm free to answer. Okay, so for my comments, how about you? Do you have any comments on her? My comments I have written already here. Nothing. Well, I can say that she able to perform very good. I mean, wasn't good. Uh, just a little uh, enhancement required. Um, and that actually for every one of us, not only for Miriam, that when you're going to present your proposal, try to take note of that, the key points that one, and try to address the proposal in your own words rather than reading, okay? Try to, because if that proposal is created by you, okay, not chat GPT or, or an AI, if it has been created by you, okay, and you are the creator of that proposal, then definitely you know each and every aspect of that, each and every element of that one. And you can explain very well without looking at any notes, without any right? Because then you are the creator of that. So try to come up with your own unique ideas, okay? Say that GPT we must use, okay? To as a, our assistant, okay? To assist us in organizing it, in formalizing it and all. But the idea should be yours. You should be on give that instructions to the to the church GPT you know. So so what I'm saying here now, when you're going to present your proposal, always look at the audience. Always try to look at the audience. And if you saw that your audience are busy in mobile phone or even stop talking, stop talking, tell them, okay, so since you guys are busy in your exploring your mobile phone, so I believe I should give you some time okay so you can take two minutes three minutes once you're done please let me know so i can start okay so that way that people will stop they will feel shame and they will pay attention and all okay it's very important to catch the attention of your audience very important okay otherwise what will happen they will not be able to grasp the whole idea of your business proposal and all they will come up with the conclusion oh they were not so good also not good because they did not understand anything they didn't even listen it their mind was not there you understand so therefore Therefore, it will come on you. Why? Because you did not catch their attention. So this is something very important when you are presenting your proposals to catch the complete attention of your audience and make sure that you are interacting with them, asking them questions, anything and all, not just only end of the end of this one and all. In between of the or like after each chapter, you can ask them, do you have anything to say about you have anything to ask about and all? So likewise. Yeah. So that's good, inshallah. Yes. Okay. So this is my comments, just read it later. Because you already answered my question. I answered you too. He, he and she answered already my questions. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you, Mariam. So okay. So let's go to the next one. Who's the next one? Next one, please. Um, sinong pangalawa ulit? Si Miss Lynn. Si Miss Lynn, di ba? Miss Lynn. Okay, uh, Joshua. <laughs> Mr. Joshua. Miss uh, Rach, pakibigay ko yun. Yes. 
Ay. <laughs> Bakit pa na si Carlo? Nasaan si Carlo? Hmm. Hindi nag-message? Nadaan ba kayo sa burong natin? <laughs> okay. Andito ang HDM ko yan. Sa baba. Dito. Okay. Hindi nito ang alam na kung meron ba itong HDM ay? Meron ba ito? Okay. Four minutes lang man. Technical error. Hindi lang ka. Okay guys, uh, good afternoon everybody. My name is Joshua and I will be presenting uh, my business proposal, my restaurant, DX Burgers. Before I start, I only have two words for you. Oh sorry, one word for you. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Alright, right now. My introduction. So, uh, this is my uh, my uh, store that is located in Taguig, in the Philippines. DX Burgers is a mission. DX Burgers' mission is to become the recognized lead leader in the fast food growing market of fast food chains, providing outstanding selections of premium beef in in the market of uh, 100% uh, pure beef and 100% uh, stress-free uh, chickens. <laughs> yes, right now I'm stressed as well. <laughs> So, uh, DX Burgers uh, provide uh, a comfy uh, experience to all, combining two generations, the old generations of, or the 90s generations and the new generations, combining games and uh, wrestling as well. Exclusive summary of mine is a fast food startup location at the 619 BGC Tagig Board. Uh, a gig. The menu is include a ve uh, variety of exp <laughs> large burger. I'm scared right now. <laughs> they are freshly made, use local uh, sources and meats and vegetables from local farms as well in the N NCR region. The design is very comfortable, and you will uh, you will see uh, in my next uh, slides that uh, it will be comfortable and will connect all generations. So, company overview. Sorry for this one. Company overview. It's a startup restaurant located at the BGC. It will uh, cater to all residents of the gig and will will be located at the BC retail of uh, BG, BGC as well. Surrounded by fast food restaurants and shopping, hundreds of people drive and walk by the place daily. Uh, DX Burger is a fast, uh, casual fast food re restaurant and customers of all backgrounds can and incomes level can come in. We can, uh, for example, like I told you before, that uh, we're catering uh, games as well. So while you're waiting for your food, you can play with your children as well. Like we have a board games as well in the uh, games like, uh, sorry, arcade games like Galaga, Pac-Man, and the board games like Crudos, Monopoly, and Snakes and Ladders. DX Burgers owned by by me, who has a fire of combining both the past and the present generation through good food. The concept of the fast food restaurant is fusion of WWE, of watching the watching uh, and uh, using the names of DX, 
D-generation X, for short of DX, is the past generation. The concept has been dream of, uh, of me since uh, college days through the first uh, business venture since uh, graduated from my college. Has worked for many restaurants and fast food chains locally and abroad. The equipment, the equipment, equip that equipped me with vast knowledge uh, on on putting on a business like this. So, so as you can see, this is the industrial analysis of mine. That for the next five years, the fast food industry on the Philippines will be will uh, grow more. So this is my chart from uh, from when I start and then uh, five years from now. So you can see uh, I, I graphed it a, a little bit and the, the yellow part or the series three, this one, is the consumer, uh, consumer part. So more consumers coming right now just to, uh, just to taste the burgers that we have. This is my reverend, uh, reverend market size. So I'm in relevant. Relevant market uh, market size. <laughs> reverend. <laughs> I'm scared as well. well okay. So this is the majority of the the Tagig area is four hundred thousand. That's the presentation of uh, for the rate and the market size. Let's go. Target consumers. Target uh, consumption of Tagig is frequently consumed by fast food. As, uh, as a fast food restaurant, it will attract customers from all directions, back, uh, mm -hmm. different backgrounds and income levels. Students, families, retirees, private or government employees are welcome to, my com uh, are welcome to our, uh, our restaurant as well. So the competitive uh, uh, competitive analysis analysis analysis. This burger uh, will compete with some of the existing uh, shops as well in the Philippines. For example, Eat Cuts. This is one of the best as well uh, in the Philippines right now, and this is uh, their price range. Next is McDonald's that everybody knows and love. We, we will compete with them as well. <laughs> And Burger King is as well. This is their price lens. My indirect uh, competition are those uh, com competitors who also serve fa uh, food around the area. Delhi food, Main Street, restaurants, solo BBC, chicken and shawarmas. Competitive advantage. DX burgers may be new but it offers several advantage over the competitions. The bun is, uh, the bun are baked on the site daily. So we have a, uh, we have freshly, freshly flowers every single day that we can bake in our site as well. It's, we serve uh, big uh, portions as well. Convenient location, DX Burgers will locate, uh, located in the high, highly traffic area that is uh, easy to drive in and drive out. Our main marketing plan is uh, our main marketing plan is uh, the products that we will be serving in the DX Burgers will often a unique value of uh, position uh, proposition to its clients. The meats will be lo uh, will be locally sourced and differently farm uh, different farms in NCR to help our farmers as well uh, to, help, to help our farmers as well and livestock the bonds are baked freshly daily the price uh, the pricing DX will have a comp uh, competitor pricing for them so at least uh, we can uh, we can uh, fight uh, for which is burgers the best <laughs> So this is my uh, this is the startup that I have financial. We start up at uh, my startup cost will be seven million, and then the profit loss. This, this is the profit loss for my first year. 
not the entire five years. This is the first year that I I uh, accomplished. So this is will be the restaurant that I will be uh, planning to. Ah, sorry, that will be in the Philippines, the X Burgers, and this will be the inside. And we will be having promos as well. So this will be the box that we will use in takeaways. For the dining, it's different. What is it, the one to be used for dining? Uh, it's uh, different and more elegant than this one. Oh, okay. This is only for takeout? Yes, only for takeout. Okay. And we will be having promos as well. Show me your promos. Show me. Long. Monday night and Friday night. I'm supposed to be smacked down, but I need to Okay. And we will be having coupons and loyalty cards as well. Okay. So, this will be the loyalty uh, coupons. I'll make coupons, okay. Yes. Ayuwa? 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 We will use different platforms as well, like uh, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, and every social media, just to promote our products as well. Okay. The pricing is very competitive as well. It's not, uh, it's not high that the, that the other masses cannot, uh, cannot afford, but it's in a medium range. Like our best seller will be just can you see the, the names of the our burgers is like in the WWS, WWE as well. Some codes are already existed in the W right now. WWE. Like our best seller socket burger. Ah, socket watermelon. It comes from the DX as well. The price range is like that. And we have combos as well. Uh, we have chickens as well, John Cena Buffalo chickens, uh, combo meal, team A, team B, and team C, hot dog sandwiches as well, and our SWOT analysis. Uh, our strength is strong, uh, strong brand, strong brand, strong brand. <laughs> <laughs> Good online marketing like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Our weaknesses right now is uh, existing uh, competitors, almost similar food type, high, high, high supply cost, vulnerable, and advertising, uh, advertising strategy, and unhealthy food products. Opportunity on introducing new menu items, utilizing technology, offering offering online orders, took part in television programs as well. Threat with uh, rising uh, fixed costs, forcing close, home delivery of options, bad ratings and review online, loss of good suppliers and competitor taking customer. Uh, Competition taking customer, economic turn down, new fast food restaurant that will be open. My uh, my word uh, is the sites that I uh, I take all the the infos that I have, and that's it, <laughs> okay. Okay, your, your question and answer will be only from my part, okay? Because I don't want them to have an idea on how they're going to answer the okay. questions. Okay, so I, you just have to come near me okay. uh, and I will give you your score. So just for a moment. Can I go home now? <laughs> just a minute. Oh, okay. sagli. Um, yeah, Halika. May, may question ako sa iyo. I have a question for you. Huh? So, sina- sinabi mo mo sa SWOT analysis mo na may akong ano. Um, my question is, how do you so negative videos online. Hindi mga negative videos kami ba? Diba? So we can so how we address that. Hmm. Ano ano? Hmm. 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 Hmm.
ay iimitay namin yung person hmm. na sustain na bibigyan natin yung pagkita namin yung hindi ba sa ganun kasi yan naman talaga panungwan ang negative but it's a big impact na para anyway, totoo ba yan yung ano, or gawa-gawa ng isang business na ito ba? pero meron na or wala na in shock so at least you have started already right? Oh, pwede ka na mag-sight kasi you have good concepts so, may comments are here already tanongin mo lang if you did not understand yan yeah, yeah. lalay ko lang yung score mo good job <laughs> Huwag na tapos sila lahat. <laughs> o oh, next, sinong next? Si Miss Lynn. Ready ka na Miss Lynn? Grace, Miss Grace. Ham. Ano na? Hindi. Don't worry about it. Okay? Kami lang mag-calculate ha. Ay, ay, ay. Ano na ito? 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 And Hello. Ma'am, good afternoon. Good afternoon, classmates. Pinakabahan ako? <laughs> Mama, for today, I will rep- I will present you my business. It's a uh, water refilling station on by Chan. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, and this is the elements. Uh, this is my product. I will present it to you. Madam, this is uh, purified water. This is alkaline water. And this one, mineral water. I have three kinds of water. Yes. Executive summary. One of the first expanding business in many cities nowadays, nationwide this water refilling station, it's measuring in every street corner. Over the pa- over the years, as demand for cleaner, water becomes higher, the price of the household water, purifiers and bottle and water has become prohibitive. Jipad Sky Water Refilling Station will offer a cheaper and more convenient solution to the pl- public drinking water. The company overviewed this business is owned and personally managed by me. So it is located at Sidaboy, Governor Himeroso, Dabo Oriental, the vicinity, the vicinity is surrounded by residential and commercial areas. The store is conditioned to maintain cleanliness and so the personnel. It is provided parking space for those who are picking up bulk order. The refilling operation starts 6 a.m. and it's at, and close will be at 6 p.m. So market overview. The reason why you would need to market the water refill station is to let people know the uniqueness of your water refill station and to create general awareness. Awareness. Tomorrow. 
The customer analysis, developing and sustaining long-term long manually beneficial relations with the clients, finding potentials, client every day will be useful. If the company cannot maintain the relationship with the considering Dutch water, target customer, the potential market segments for the water refill station business are the general public and the environmentally conscious individual. The general public includes those who need access to clean drinking water, while on the go such as commuters, hikers, and families. So customers need, nowadays customers need the price for the business, the price, functionally and convenience, the, reabil the reliability and sustainability, risk reduction, its empathy, experience, design, risk, terms, integra integration and com compatibility, information, control, variety of options, and accessibility. The competitive analysis. The potential market segments for the water refill station business are the general public and environmentally conscious individuals. The general public includes those who need to access clean drinking water while on the go. The next, product and services. Terms of the sale. The business on the on its service will be on cash basis to ensure proper collection on the sales to avoid unnecessary loss. Product delivery. The product will be the form of pickup and delivery. The delivery, delivery will be in six, six days a week, which is one day we have one off. Uh, the business will be ensured that uh, it will be delivered safely to their homes. And by the way, we will also be giving uh, giveaways to our regular customers like uh, like T-shirt. I'll be giving T-shirt as well for those regular customers. And we also have pen and mug and notebook as well. And I also have. <laughs> but, and the, the, price, the price of the water is uh, for pick up 25 kd and for delivery 30 kd. I want 30 kd. It's my It's my I'm sorry. Sorry. It's my Sorry, mom. The price is sorry. The price is probably seventy first. So how? So how a company sets the price of the profits, product, and service based on the cost, value, demand, and competition? Pricing policy is essential for all businesses as it provides a guideline for creating profits and areas to bring in losses. The price is one of the factors that need to be settled in putting up the business. Is it, it establishes a benchmark of the consumers to determine if the product or service is given by the business is affordable. And the promotion plan. This is one of our promotion plan. Like for example, uh, they are usually buying for us, like maybe monthly or um, in once at least once a week. I'll be giving in every month like quarter per more. Like only uh, only uh, half an hour, they can drink water, not delivery, they can drink water in half an hour as long as they can. <laughs> water per <come> hour. <laughs> like the strength, creative product ideas, unique benefits. Wait, sorry. Wait. The strength is creative product ideas you make benefits not offered by competitors take the advantage of the new technology. The opportunities, this is a short, a short analysis by the way. The opportunities, current strengths toward illness prevention and conscious, conscious and protective parenting, no similar product available in the market. At this point in time, large international markets available. And the weaknesses are uh, startup company lack of continu continual and necessary funding, no resource and development team, no investors. And the threats are uh, is uh, letters to no public awareness or notoriety, no brand recognition, recognition, existing will recognize competition in the marketplace.
and this is my work it's work site this is my workplace and this is what i plan the business i i'm planning to build that's all mom thank you <laughs> thank you so much mom kasi madami gutom na sila mom i'm sorry no one